I'm Kate and I have allergies. Today I am making homemade granola bars. Um, Brooke Bonds actually asked to see this recipe on one of the previous Cook with Kate. So I'm gonna attempt homemade granola bars. Um, I'll link the original recipe below. I'm gonna change a couple things up and see how it works. But before I get started, I wanted to mention a couple products that I found at Sprouts on sale. Um, products that tend to be a little bit more expensive like coconut oil and gluten-free flour and I got a super great deal. So if you, there's a Sprouts near you, I would highly recommend checking one out and shopping there. They have great sales every week. This coconut oil was originally $10. I got it for $6.99. And coconut oil, as you guys know, if you use it, is usually super expensive. $6.99 is actually a really great price. Um, same with my gluten-free all-purpose Bob's Run Mill. I got it for, I think, $3.99, and that stuff can be $8 to $9 usually. So. Allergy-friendly food can be inexpensive. You just have to look for sales, shop smart, and if there's a Sprouts near you, I would highly recommend checking that out. But what you'll need is some salt, peanut butter. This is just the Sprouts um, creamy peanut butter, no salt added. It, one ingredient, roasted peanuts, beautiful. It was less than $3. Some oats. I'm using the Bob's Red Mill, as always. Um, I did get dairy-free chocolate chips because they were again on sale. This is the Enjoy Life brand. Some coconut oil. Agave or honey or maple syrup. Any one of those will do. Some brown rice crisp cereal. Cooking spray. And a baking dish lined with foil. Here we go. First, just gonna wanna Lightly spray your Reynolds with some olive oil cooking spray. I am actually doubling the recipe that I'm going off of, so you're gonna need four cups of oats. It also calls for rolled oats. I'm using quick cooking oats. They didn't have rolled oats, so we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out good. in the two cups of brown rice cereal and with the oats. Calls for a pinch of salt if your peanut butter doesn't have any salt added and the one that I got doesn't, so. Fourth cup, so we need a half a cup of melted coconut oil. Stir the peanut butter. <laughs> okay, one cup. Nice trick is just not rinsing your measuring cup um, after you put the oil in, because it'll just come out really easily. I'm gonna add agave. I had agave, but you can use maple syrup or honey, whatever you have on hand. I'm just gonna mix dark and light, and it calls for a half cup. It's all about improvising, right? Add your mixture together. I kind of forgot the agave when I was doing my shopping, so I didn't have enough. So I'm going to, I did have this leftover honey though, but as you can see, it would take about 300 years for it to get to the bottom. So I'm gonna just cut off his head, unfortunately, so I can scoop it out really easily. I also feel raw, like... Look at that! The original recipe called for melting the chocolate chips and drizzling it on top, but I like chocolate chips in my granola bars usually, so I'm gonna just add a half cup into the mixture. So I'm gonna add the mixed mixture into this bacon dish here. Hopefully it turns out to be sticky enough. I think we'll be okay. And after, all you're gonna do is cool them for a bit. You can throw them in the freezer for 10 minutes or leave them in the fridge for, you know, half hour or so. Took them out of the freezer, they were in there for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna 
cut them up now. <laughs> crumbling when you bite into it. I think they're really good though. I'd recommend this recipe. If you're gonna make it, I would add a decent amount of honey or syrup or agave, whatever you choose to use. But Brooke, if you're watching this um, and you end up making these, tag us on Instagram at Brooke with Bougie and let us know if you, you know, add your own little twist to the recipe. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And if you like Cook With Kate, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Next week. Bye.